feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double XI. Positive power. Worldwide podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. That's right, you tell him, robot. You tell him, little buddy, you listen to Jerry was live worldwide, aka the Batman of Charm City, right here on Late Night, Late Night Radio. That's right, y'all. It's going down right here, y'all, on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. All right, don't forget, y'all, come on out to our YouTube channel, subscribe, check out all of our shows, The Red Rum, The Shea Samuels, The Lakeisha Moody Show, and My Journey with Paula G, all airing in Atlanta, Georgia. Check them out all on YouTube, just as the Jerry Rose Live, or Music, Music, Television. Check out all of our independent gospel artists. we got to support these people. We just had a powerful brother on just a second ago. That's right, he used to be Sunday Best on BET. Right, we bring the stars, that's right. And he's under independent, under his own label, doing his own thing. So reach out to those people, man. Su- su- support that brother, Ashford Sanders. That's right, check him out in Georgia. All right, y'all. It's time to talk to Shea Samuel. Let's see what Shea's got going on. Got a lot of people out here today, Shea. What's going on, Shea Samuel? Shea, Shea. Hey, Gary Boyce. Jerry Voice Live Worldwide, a.k.a. The Batman. Happy Monday. How are you? I'm awesome. Awesome. Feeling good. Um, Despite what's going on in the world, Batman is hanging in there, staying busy. It's like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm learning a lot. I'm growing from all of this. And I am, I'm, you know, I'm, I won't say I'm excited about going through it, but, you know, there's an opportunity in all of it. And so I'm just excited about learning um, more of our history and learning a lot more about, um, I did the, my Monday motivational moment today and I was just talking about how we always talk about history repeating itself. And so you get a chance to hear stories from people who have experienced, um, things like this in the past. My mom was telling me how, when she was younger living in the project, she said she remembers the, um, the national guards, like standing in her lawn <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and, I was like, wow, you know, so we always will have a story to tell. That's, that's right. one thing for sure. That's right. I remember those days, too. My parents had just bought their first home, and I, I remember my mom's friends calling her, telling her, hey, girl, you got to put a black scarf on the front door, you know, um, so they don't burn your house wow, down. <laughs> yeah, it was like, what? And I remember the National Guard. I remember ah. seeing tanks and army trucks going up and down the street. Yeah, I remember those days. Wow. Yeah, it was spooky times, man. Yep. Yeah. Yep, but it call it all comes back around. Just history just repeats itself, especially you know um, with a lot of injustice going on in the world and leadership not listening. You know, that's this this is what you're gonna get when they're not listening. It, it was bound to happen. Yeah, you know, people have enough. Yeah, had yeah, enough. Definitely. Yep. You know, one thing I do want to encourage everyone, you know, we, we've seen the rioting, the looting and uh, the protesting. I think, you know, I know for a fact that there are other ways that we can make noise. In fact, you know, uh, David and I, we do the um, the the um, Hosea Feed the Hungry every uh, year around Thanksgiving. Well, on Thanksgiving Day. And the um, the lady who uh, the lady who actually hosts this with her husband, she was on the news today and she was saying, you know, the 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 best thing we can do right now is to write letters to the legislature, like flood them uh, right now. Um, There are so many different organizations and I won't name any, but there's so many different organizations, Jerry, that have had laws passed um, without doing what's happening right now. Um, they made their own kind of noise. But if you think about these organizations and how successful they were by coming together to get laws passed, right. um, I'm sure we could do the same thing. Oh, yeah. You just, you know, leaders got to come together, you know, and um, but you got to have a the person at the top listen to, you know. So um, hopefully um, while we have um, the other party waiting in the wings, you know, some things he could do right now. 
you know, to really impress um, yeah. the vote that he's trying to get. It's, it's, it's a lot he can do. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of bills need to be passed mm-hmm. and signed. So uh, let's see what he does while he got this, got the attention of the people, the voters, because they do want to change. I think it's going to be a lot of unhappy campers out there right now. I mean, it's a lot of people out there in the streets and in all these major cities. So, um, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, meanwhile, we want everybody to stay safe out there. You know, you know, of course, you know, it's a lot of stuff about to go down. Um, so be careful out there if you if you out there, you know, um, representing your organization and, and you and you want to um, support the families who have lost, you know, loved ones due to um, injustice. If that's the right word. Did I say it right? Injustice. Injustice. My bad. Injustice. Injustice. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always, it's a lot of ways we can do it. But, um, you know, I always believe that everything always about money. And I've seen how, uh, you know, cities have been destroyed and they were, then they were uh, redeveloped <laughs> into something spectacular, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, having to Baltimore. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We had big, about 120, 130 years ago, they had a big, the, look it up, y'all. The big Baltimore fire happened on Charles Street, a whole street. Charles Street was on fire. And at the time, it was owned, um, you know, that community was owned by a, a small ethnic group at the time. And then they, they ended up getting their money, their, their insurance money, and moved on to the county areas. The next thing you know, you see um, engineering firms and, and, and um, spectacular development going on. And you don't even recognize the place. It's like, wait a minute, is this is where we used to live? <laughs> and um, you see that happen all the time. I mean, you see it in the movies. <laughs> so it's, it's probably what you're going to see yeah. happen to Minnesota. It's going to be a brand new twin city. <laughs> you're not even going to recognize it. Yeah, it's crazy. Because that's, that's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like this whole, the, all the images are just kind of like the, it's like watching the movies. You see this in the movies. Yep, yep exactly. <laughs> like, wow, yep, you got uh crazy. small black businesses that don't want to move out because you know the the city want to do development and they don't want to sell, and and then they, what they try to scam mm-hmm. out. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Y- y'all think yeah. about it. What you think you're seeing? <laughs> so next thing you know, you next thing you know, Minnesota has never been attracted to people to travel to. <laughs> Take my word for it. Except yeah. for the big super mall. Shout the- out to my family in Minnesota, too, because I have family members, um, church family members, who I was just speaking with right before the show. Mm-hmm. They actually are from Minnesota, and they have family there, dads and cousins. And um, there's a lot of artists, too, who are in Minnesota yeah, as well. Lot, They've been posting them. their videos. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to them. And y'all just stay safe. That's right. Stay safe. It's, it'll be over soon, y'all. But like I said, I've been there before. I've been to that big super mall, and that was really the major attraction. So now um, it's going to become, mm-hmm. um, it's going to look like Baltimore and what they did to D.C. is going to be spectacular. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be like, wow, where'd this come from? You see that someone stole a train um, from, someone stole a train from the mall. <laughs> They're going to steal everything. It's not they, nailed down. Yeah, they took a train from the mall, and I thought, what in the world? Yeah, yeah so just be be smart and be safe. Two yeah, be that's smart right. and be safe. The number 45 is trying to uh, install five to ten years sentencing to anybody. <laughs> this court, <laughs> that's a long time for stealing that. And then that. also keep in mind that what he's considering, too, is any person doing what's happening He's going to consider it terrorist activity, yeah, which is beyond me. But right, you know, federal, um, federal time. We, it, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So to keep your mask on. There's, <laughs> a lot you going on. There's a lot going on. Keep your eye. Keep, you know, uh, David always says, "Stay woke, don't stay broke." Hit him with the shoulder lean. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, so you ready? My time is up. You ready to talk to your guests? Everybody's in the queue. I think there's some I extra. There's some extra people here too. I'm, but I'm just going to let them all out, and you guys just have a great show. And we welcome all the ladies from the the coaching school of uh, Arkansas. Thank you so much for being part of Positive Power Direct and and sharing your your journey with us. So thank you. So Batman's on mute. Had a great show. Have a great show, everybody. Thank you. Well, welcome, 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 everyone, to the Late Night Jerry Roy Show. 
with your co-host, Shay Samuels. I'm so happy to be with you. Shout out to Paula G, Lady Wisdom After Midnight, who holds it down every other Monday. And on the Mondays that I'm not here, she's giving me a shout out. Shout out to Lakeisha Mosley um, in the nine o'clock hour. I love you. I miss you. And hopefully after this pandemic, we will all, we will all be able to get back um, to, I don't know about normal, but at least we'll be able to hug one another. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to wait until 2021 to start hugging on people again. I don't know about y'all, but I'm probably going to wear my mask for like the next two years. <laughs> so, but we have an amazing show for you guys tonight. Um, you know, I had the honor of interviewing uh, four amazing ladies a few weeks back on um, that are, um, and I say the product, but the product of Dr. Terrell Jenkins, I really enjoyed myself with these ladies. And now we have another group of ladies who are coming on with us tonight, coaches, might I add. And so there's a lot of questions that I have, and I pray that I'm going to have just as much fun with these ladies as I did with the others. Um, so y'all have to promise me that. Do y'all promise me that? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> they should have warned you all before you came on. Like, if you're going to be on with Shay, y'all are going to have so much fun. And I make up names for people, too. So I don't know who I'm going to make a name up for. But if just in case you have not been warned. So we have Michelle Sims on the line. Yes, I'm here. Hello. We have Miss Elisa Hill on the line. Yes, I'm here. And we have instructor Robert Caldwell on the line. I'm here. All right. And Miss Antoinette Smith. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Did, did I say that right? You said it correctly the first time. It, I that name my name gets butchered so much. So thank you for pronouncing it correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, I, and then we have Miss Ronette Jones. Is that correct? Renetta Jones. Well, Renetta. Renetta. Yeah. Hmm? They put my maiden name. It's really Renetta Rockamore. Oh, okay. So they have it spelled with an E instead of an A. Is it with an E? Yes. It's with an A. Okay. With an A. Okay. So see, that wasn't my fault. Now I'm going to call no. you Ronetta. That, that wasn't yes. my fault. So ladies, how are you this evening? Great. I'm Doing great. great. I'm Yes, it is, it's Monday. You guys know we are in, you know, perilous and uncertain times right now, and a lot is going on. And I think having you all on the line tonight is definitely something that's going to be beneficial to a lot of people who are listening tonight. So I am so appreciative of you all being on with me tonight. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that I capture everyone's comments. I'll just call you out by name. But because there are a few of you on, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves and what part you play within uh, the school. Um, and then we're going to get into some questions. So I'm going to start with Ms. Michelle Sims. Yes. Um, how, are you, how How is everybody? Um, but I'm glad to be here on tonight um, to talk with everybody and especially during this time. But I'm Michelle Sims. I'm from Belival, Arkansas. I'm a, a certified life coach with the Life Coach School of Arkansas. And I, what I use, use my skills for are to encourage people. I have on my Facebook page, I do every um, month to encourage um, supporting black businesses. So I pick a black business and I send it out on Facebook and ask people to patronize that business, to do whatever it can so, so it can uplift, so it can help, and so that it can just pay it forward. And I just recently added um, uh, acknowledging matriarchs of the community. So every month now, I'm going to acknowledge a, a strong woman, a strong woman that's been in the community for a long time and has just made a difference in one way or the other. They don't have to be somebody famous, but just a, a strong woman. And so um, that's that's how that's what I love doing, encouraging one another. And right now at this time. Not only do I have to encourage others what we're going through, but I even have to encourage myself because this is this is a tough one that just happened. So, 
I look forward to doing that for people. Yeah, and that, you know, I'm glad you said that because so many times we look at um, we look at people who are in mental health or some sort of capacity of a, of a counselor, psychiatrist, psychologist, any, anyone that's doing some type of coaching, we look at them as they are perfect that they're doing what they're doing with us because they're not, they're not experiencing anything in life. And so for you to say that um, definitely should be encouraging to someone tonight as well. Miss Alyssa Hill, can you let everyone know who you are and your, the part that you play within the school as well? Absolutely. I have to correct you. My name is Akissi. And I live in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I am a current student of the Life Coach School of Arkansas, and I am just happy to be here tonight. Let me first say that. But I am a coach who coaches women and girls in the areas of growing through, up, on, and forward. Because as we all know, life never stops happening, no matter how old we are, no matter how great we are, no matter how purpose we are. Life never stops happening. So for me, I'm that coach that dives deep into both personal and professional goals or achievements and things that people want to either level up in or take to the next level because there is a difference. So that's my area of coaching for women and girls. Okay. And let me just so that I have it because I may have to write it down. So it's not A-L-I-S-S-A? No, ma'am. It's A-K-I-S-S-I. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And I really enjoyed, again, just your your commentary regarding what you stand for. And I love your keep it real uh, mentality. So I know when they get you, they're not going to get anything outside of just being real. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I love that. And then we have instructor Rhonda Caldwell. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, how are you? Well, thank you so much for asking and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So tell the listeners a little about yourself. And of course, we have you as an instructor, but just kind of what your role is with the ladies and or attendees of the school. Um, I am coach instructor Rhonda Caldwell, and I am the instructor for the Life Coach School of Arkansas. And a couple of these ladies that's on the call are in, in the class, and I have one on there that I mentor. Um, I have my own coaching program, which is Add a Girl 19 Life Coach program, and I have a mentor program also. And what it is is aftercare. Once they leave the school, once they graduate from the school, they come on over into my aftercare program. And what I do is uh, in the school, we teach what it is to become a coach. But after they graduate, I help them get their program started. And so I mentor them. And Antoinette is on the line, and she's one of the ladies that's in my program. So that's what I do. I mentor them. And even the ladies that's in the school now, they call me anytime day, noon, or night, they call, and I mentor them, I empower them, I give them a word. So that's the role that I play at the school. So you have a major role, not just I have a major role. role. A major, major role. So you're probably like yes. the teacher that I had in school where that teacher was like my teacher, my counselor, my mom, and whatever whatever went wrong or right. I was like going, her name was Miss Thomas, and it was in third grade. Can you tell that I have not forgotten who she is? <laughs> that's her good. When you can Ms. remember that, Thomas. that's really good. <laughs> And I went to Brookside Elementary in Wilmington, Delaware, but her name was Mrs. Thomas. And, you know, I never forget that lady because she sewed so much. You know, there's always that one teacher that takes their time out to really embrace the children. It's not just about them coming to school, yeah. you teaching them. And I miss those times, honestly. So it sounds like that yeah. that's who you are. Yeah, good. That well, we'll ask them about Just leave a Leave an impact. That's what that's what my mission and my goal is to leave an impact on everyone that comes yeah. through the school. 
Yes, and that that is amazing. That's amazing. And so then we have Miss Antoinette uh, Smith. Can you let the listeners know a little bit about yourself, your ministry, and your role in the school as well? Yes, I would definitely do that. First of all, I want to say thank you, Shay, for having me on this evening. It's a pleasure. No problem. Thank um, you. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. My name is Coach Antoinette, and I reside in West Memphis, Arkansas. I am a certified life coach, and I'm also in the after care program, as Coach Rhonda mentioned. She's mentoring me to make sure that my program that I have started is going to be successful as well. Um, the name of my program is called Stepping Into Your Purpose. And my program mm. is designed to help women equip, it's designed to equip, empower, encourage, and inspire women to step into their purpose. You know, that's one thing that I found, even with myself before I discovered my purpose, is that, you know, we, we as women, we take on, like, what I like to say, a lot of roles. You know, we're a wife or we're a mom or, you know, we work a job or we have our own business and we're so busy operating in all these different, you know, areas of our life to where we don't take the time for ourselves and to see, you know, why was I, I created? Why did God create me? You know, what am I supposed to be doing? I know I'm supposed to be doing more than working this nine to five. I know I'm supposed to be doing more. You know, and for some people, being a wife and being a mom is okay, but, you know, they're, they're satisfied with that. But there are some women that they have like a void or they have a desire that, you know, I, something's missing in my life. What is it? So that's what my, my program is about, is to helping women to Find out why would they trade, you know, what is your passion? What is it that you love to do? You know, let me assist you with that so that you can begin to stop existing and begin living, you know, in this beautiful life that we have here on earth. Amen. And so what would yes. you say the first right. step the first step would be? What would you say the first step would be of identifying your purpose when you are when you're speaking with someone? What would you say the first step that the first step that I would say is, what is your passion? Because your purpose lines up with your passion. And so if you don't know your passion, then we need to see, you know, what is it that you love to do? Do you love to cook or do you love to sew? You know, let's turn it into a business or let's open up, you know, a, a business or do you love children? Well, let's look into open up a daycare. You know, it's so many, uh, it's, it's the finding what your passion is. So once we find that passion, and then we can move into the steps of, you know, making you a successful woman. And I love to um to just add to that too because as women, we have so many different skill sets. We have so many talents, right? And it amazes me because we'll say that and then they'll say if you've ever talked to someone, I know you have, and most of you women probably have, but it's like, well, what is your passion? And they say, well, I like to do hair. I like to do nails. I like to, I'm, I'm a, you know, when I was growing up, I was in fashion. I used to do my own French rolls and finger waves. And then, you know, the little dots that we used to put in our hair, <laughs> the little, <laughs> the little uh, bobby yeah. pins we used to put in the hair. And they would say, and I used mm -hmm. to do a little bit of that. Um, I was a fashion designer and so it really is the prominent gift that makes room for you so when you identify yes, the right. prominent gift that gift will make that's room right. for you so identifying the prominent gift is the gift that's going to open the door so I appreciate that and I love the fact that you're working with women um, in that way because that is the hardest thing for us that is the hardest thing for us to identify purpose um, and then we yeah. have last but not least Miss Ronetta did I say it right, Ronetta? Yes, you did. Okay, I got it. All right. So, Ronetta, um, please tell the listeners about yourself and your role in the school and your ministry. Okay. Hello. I am uh, Coach Renetta Rockamore. I want to say, first of all, Life Coach School of Arkansas seemed like a family-orientated place. So, when you said something to Coach Ronda, I'm like, she's, she's the auntie on the line, okay? So, uh. I, I <laughs> I thank God for I can that tell. Time. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I thank God for that time of um, how, how that is, is created at Life Coach uh, to help us also to understand that relationship. Um, so anyway, so as I was in li Life Coach, you know, the question was, well, what, is you gonna, what are you going to name uh, your Life Coach? And um, I've, I've thought about locked in um, because a lot mm -hmm. of times we need to learn how to make sound decisions. Um, a lot of times we're so emotional, we fickle, we don't make 
uh, decisions so then we don't get to the goal that we need to get to. And so I'm, I'm wanting to coach those that need to get locked in or what their passion is, what they're trying to execute, no excuses. And so um, I'm also a pastor of uh, Soul Fat Life Ministry. So God gave me mm-hmm. that ministry. And he said, you know, people take care of their houses and cars, but they don't feed their souls. And so yeah. um, I, I try to make it a way uh, that is not so religious. I, I want people to really get an understanding to be more intellect and start making yeah. down decisions mm-hmm. and not all over the place. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that definitely is something we all need, especially now, <laughs> where we are right now, especially especially now. Um, it is important for us, and I'm going to ask um, uh, Michelle, I'm going to ask you um, the importance of a life coach. Um, and I've asked this before, but everyone, of course, has their different, um, I guess, their different uh, commentary on what they feel uh, life coach should be to someone, and ministries are completely different as well. Um, but what would you say the importance of having a life coach in someone's life um, is? Um, I believe one of the most important thing is having someone to listen, that coach to listen to what the person is saying. Oftentimes, people um, go through life and they're talking or someone's trying to tell them something and that no one's listening to what they're saying or they don't listen to the pain or the root of where it's coming from. So mm-hmm. oftentimes, you can just as a coach, you can sit there and just listen to a person. Maybe the first time you have a, um, a session with them or you're just talking to them, just listen and let mm-hmm. them pour out what they need, you know, let them pour out so that you will have room to pour into them what they need. Yeah, because something you know may not be exactly what's that's good. So let them pour it out, and that's good too. That's a good response because a lot of times you know people already come in with the answers. They don't know what the solution is or the problem is, but they they try to build right. one size fits all. Um, you know. Um, I guess the therapy quote unquote session, but everyone's not one size fits all. So you may go in one house and that person just wants you to listen and you may go to another and they may need you to talk. You know, the first time I even saw anyone do life coaching was on like a Keisha Cole when she had her, her show out. And I don't even know how I was watching it, but her sister, Nephi had uh, Mm -hmm. a life coach and that person was so hard on her, but she was stern enough to get her to what she wanted. And so, Mm -hmm. um, um, and so I'm going to come to, and I told you guys, I warned you guys that someone was going to get a name tonight, right? It's a good name. Someone's going to get a name. And so I've chosen Miss Hill. So it's going to be Keep It Real Miss Hill tonight. Is that okay? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Dr. Terrell is going to be like, here she goes. So there's another one. I, I can't remember her name, but her name was something real. And I say, to be real. But I got a chance to sing it for her. So for you tonight, it's going to be, keep it real, Miss Hill. So for you, keep it keep it real, Miss Hill. Um, when you are speaking with someone and, and you're putting them, you know, they, they tell you, because uh, I understand as life coaches, you first ask, okay, what is your ultimate goal? Right. Is that that right? What's your ultimate goal? What do you want to get out of me? Is that right? Right. Okay. Right. And so they, they lay out these lists of goals. And then when you hold them to that goal, that goal list that they provided for you, they give you a hard time. Right. So, so how do you achieve the goal of getting the goals that are written out by them? How do you achieve the goals uh, getting the goals done. Okay, so for me, uh, one thing that I that I do, first and foremost, we have to find out what the problem is. Because what I've seen personally is that a lot of the clients have the same issues, and they're all excuses. It's not that they're not capable of doing what needs to be done. They just haven't prioritized or got out of the spirit of procrastination. And that stems from fear, it stems from, you know, fear of the unknown, it stems from not being sure how things will turn out. So when I ask that question, what's your problem, they begin to see that, okay, you know what, this is more so me 
being afraid of taking that next step. So when we find out what that problem is, we're able to come up with solutions. So that is what works for mm-hmm. me with my clients, with getting those goals yeah. achieved. Yeah. And, you know, for those who are listening and maybe not even thought about having a life coach, the importance of it is really accountability. It's really mm, just that that's right. that accountability. It's that, you know, that we all want to, you know, just being in business, we want to bring in our cousins, we want to bring in our moms, we want to bring in, you know, our closest friends, but they're not going to hold us accountable. And so for anyone who may not understand the whole process of it, the overline of it, not the underline, the overline of it is accountability. So thank you so much. Keep it real, Miss Hill. <laughs> you, you, have, you have to have authenticity and you have to keep it real with them because if not, they're not going to leave you any better than how they came. And I have to have you leave better than how you came because you'll be a representation of me and my business. Yes. And you know it's for you. I mean, it's not. It's not even. It's not. You like one. You contacted me, and I'm here for you. <laughs> so, right. so you just, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my job. If this is what you're paying me for, I'm gonna do my job to the best of my ability. And so Absolutely. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to um, Ronetta. And I know that you guys are kind of just starting this, but I'm a firm believer, to be honest with you, that this is something you've been doing your whole life. You've just gotten certified in it. Right. This isn't something that you started at the time you got to school. This is something you have been doing your whole entire life. So I'm not talking to you just as a now certified or soon to be certified life coach, but this is something that has been, you know, you probably mm-hmm. were six years old sitting at the table, at the table with fake tea and cups, <laughs> life coaching your friends, right? Yeah. So, right. <laughs> so how long do you think it takes? for you to actually work with someone and see some fruit come out of that. And that's for uh, oh, Renette, Renette. To be honest, I've had people to say they didn't know anything and they talked to me. Within two weeks, it changed their life. Mm. Mm-hmm. When, when you start um, allowing a person to learn or to accept who they are, and I encourage people, believe in your instincts, believe what you feel, because a lot of times we search for things on the outside when we haven't even really looked in the inside. Right. And so it, it takes us to really recognize who we are first, to accept who you are and own that, you know. And so I, I say two weeks, but that's the that's the uh, seed that's been planted. And so it takes time yeah. about, you know, maybe three months, six months, but in reality, three years for a person to really, really get developed. Now, I have a question for Instructor Rhonda because um, this is really two parts. So, Renetta, this is for you as well, but I'm going to ask you from a from a, from a a client standpoint, but Instructor Rhonda, I'm going to ask you from a student standpoint, how long do you think it would take or do you have a give-up period? if any at all, when someone's coming to school and they're saying, hey, I want to be a life coach, life coaching is for me. Is there a telltale sign that you've ever, have you ever seen a telltale sign where you say, life coaching is just not for you? Oh, yes, I have. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, I'm an analyst, like I'm an analyst down to the T. And the reason why, because I feel like it's my job as an instructor to look for those signs because the thing about it is I don't want to allow a person to go this long and I feel like this is not for them because the thing about it is there's a difference between a passion and a purpose and once mm-hmm. you make sure that they know that then they'll be you can help them tap into their purpose. Um, the passion is about the emotions, the motivation. You know, when we say, oh, I want to do hair, I heard you say that. You know, sometimes we say, oh, my God, I want to do hair. No, I think I want to drive the city bus. No, I think I want to go to the military. Those are all of the things that you like to do, which is defined as a passion. Your purpose Mm -hmm. is the reason why you exist. So you have to Mm -hmm. fulfill your purpose or you're going to be existing and not living. So therefore... I look for those signs because I'll ca- if if I feel like this is not for you, I'll catch it. 
this is not for them because I can see it because, see, I was a born life coach. So I, you know your kind. So that's yeah. why I always, <laughs> and in my class, I dig deep and I pull everything out of them that I think that's in them so it'll define to them whether they are life coach or not. See, I don't, I assist them. Not only am I their instructor, but I'm also their coach. Yeah, I, I absolutely love it. The reason I ask that is because at the end of the day, you know, we're on here because of Dr. Terrell and the things that he does for his school. And there are people who probably are interested, and you may have just answered that question, this is just not for you. <laughs> you know, life coaches mm-hmm. pop up a dime a dozen, and it's been happening for the last two years. And so to know that there's someone taking inventory when you walk in that school, you better not walk in front of Instructor Rhonda thinking you going to become a life oh, coach. No. She's going to turn you around and she's going to say, no, baby, I think driving that bus is what's best for you for the next couple of years until you figure it out. So you're not going right. to get anything outside of the truth when you go that's to right. the school. Yes, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the truth. Because see, what happens is if I see that you're not a life coach, then I can help you. I'll help you figure out what it is that you are. Because that's just what it is. And sometimes we think because we talk to our cousin and our friends and, you know, we might talk on the phone and like, girl, no, you got to do this. You better leave him alone. You feel like you're a certified (laughs) bona fide life coach. No, 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 no. It's more to being a life coach than that. It is. And so because we're holding people lives in our hands and they depend on us, it is our job to assist them to unlock their power from within. So you have to identify what they are when they come. And that's why I'm the instructor, because I have that gift to identify. As soon as they open their mouth, when I start talking to them, I already don't know. uh, She's not that. No, that's not what she is. But I help them. If they are and they need assistance, I pull it out of them. Yeah. 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 So you guys now see what's coming out of the school. I mean, um, I have spoken with a number of women coming out of the school and I'm, you know, I'm grateful because I'm, uh, you said something very powerful. I know my kind. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I know my kind. And I love that because the Bible says to try the spirit by the spirit. And so we try know, our, you, you know, you know, you know, and so, and it's not, it's not a bad thing, but guess what? It's kind of like that follow the leader. I have friends who are life coaches, and you know how we get. We kind of think, hmm, that might be a good idea for me to do. Like you said, I've been on the phone with my cousin from since she was 12, and I've been working out her issues, and she seems to be doing fine. But you are a complete mess yourself. Everybody else around yeah. you doing fine. But you are a complete mess yourself. So thank you so much for that. So, Ronetta, now I'm going to ask you, as far as a client, from a client perspective, how we, we talked about how, how soon you should be seeing fruit, but is there a client that you might think of or may have experienced, and I don't care if it was a family member or not, but is there someone that you may have experienced and you said, you know what, this is just not going to work. I'm sorry. This relationship is just not going to take place. I don't know what yeah, I can do. I mean, but, <laughs> yeah, but that's what a lot of people, because excuses is like a lot. And and I come across them a dime a dozen on why they haven't got to where they're at, what's going on. And I, I have to I have to close my ear to it. You know, you got so many people that cry as wolves, and it's like, help me, help me. But when you're there, you're depleting all your energy, your time, and there's a time you got to take off the umbilical cord. You know, and mm-hmm. so, yeah, mm. yeah, um, because you will hurt yourself. Because I'm the type, if I'm a visionary as well, like Coach Rhonda always say, but if I see something and you tell me something, I'm going to run with that with you. And so if you start running with me and I'm trying to do you, I got to let go. I mean, mm-hmm. I can't do your work. So I, I'm yes. thanking, thanking you tonight to to me to understand that there's a limit. So when somebody comes in a client perspective, uh, this is May. I mean, I'm giving you six weeks. You know, finding what scales to is just going to take us yeah. It's going to take us two months. And so um, I'm, I'm thankful for the question, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's important for people to know that you you you're not the dumping ground. We're not going to just have you around for you, and I'm saying we, but you guys aren't just going to have them around just because it's something to do. You also are trying to walk out your purpose. 
So there's no reason for you to waste your time when there's someone out there that actually needs what you have. And so one, let me just say, ladies, I thank you all so much for coming on tonight. I think I got everyone, right? I got everyone. Intranet, I'm saving you for last, so don't even worry about it. Don't say nope, I didn't get up <laughs> I'm I'm about to come to you. But I think I got everybody. I got Michelle. I got uh, Keep It Real, Miss Hill. Miss Rhonda just laid it down. She just, uh, Instructor Rhonda just laid it down. And, Ronetta, I thank you so much for your insight. Um, I thank you, ladies, for tuning in tonight. And I pray that everything that you said tonight blessed someone and that they understand and know now how to identify a life coach's role in their lives. So if you are looking for a life coach, look up Dr. Terrell Jenkins in his school, and I want you guys to start identifying with purpose. And I want for Miss Antoinette to close us out with some encouraging words about purpose. I would definitely do that. One thing with purpose is that um, the definition of purpose is the reason why something is created or exists, or the reason why something is created or existed. So you have to know that God put you on this earth for a purpose. You know, he created you in his image and in his likeness. He gave you power, authority, and dominion. And in order to operate in that power that he has given you, we have to find out what our purpose is. And you don't want people just walking around life existing. You know, you see a lot of people, just like, they have, like, this numb look on them. And your heart aches for people that have this look where you just want to step out and just say, just give them a hug and say, you know, how can I assist you? So, when you see someone that's like that, you just want to, you know, encourage them. And that's what purpose, purpose is finding what you were, who you were created to be. You know, whether it is you want to be a beautician or if you want to, you know, own your own business or whatever it is, you have to find that so that you're able to live the life, so that you're able to help the next person. And once you find your purpose, then, you know, it's easy to help the next person say, well, hey, I had issues with finding my purpose, and I reached out to a life coach. And here's the information so that you can reach out to so that you can find your purpose, because I want you to be as happy and as joyous as I am. So purpose, is it has so many different avenues to it. It's, it's, a, it's joy. It's excitement. It's a fresh feeling. It help, It makes you get up in the morning. You know how you get up in the morning, and you love going to do what you do versus going to a nine to five. Help the soul build their dream. Why not build your own dream? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's, mm-hmm. it's what makes you get up in the morning, what makes you smile, what makes you, you know, get that extra in your step. So that's what purpose yeah. is. So I encourage everyone to find your purpose, find whatever it is that you're lacking in your life so that you can feel that void, so that you can wake up in the morning with that, um, that special smile and just be thankful to go to whatever it is that your heart desires. Yes, yes, yes. That is amazing. Thank you so much for closing us out with that. And um, Instructor Rhonda, can you tell the listeners where they can get more information regarding the school? Um, You can go on um, Life Coach School of Arkansas on the Internet, or you can also go on Terrell Jenkins' Facebook page, and you can get all of the information we're promoting we have a new class that's going to start july june the 14th so you can go on those two avenues and find out all the information you want or you can also go on my page at a girls 19 um facebook instagram or twitter and i talk about the school as well and shout out to dr terrell jenkins because he's always shout out listening to dr. He he will send me an inbox like, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to him. You ladies are all amazing. There are so many good things coming out of this school. There's so many good women coming out. And they're all authentic. I love the fact that you guys don't have to put a face on. You are who you are. And I love that about every last one of you. I thank you so much for coming on the show with me tonight. And I have to ask all of you one more question, but we're going to try to do this in sync because there's so many of us. I know the the lines, they kind of like delay a little bit. So we could be like, A, 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 but we're all standing <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to ask one more question. 
And I want you ladies to say it with such emphasis, uh, the response with such emphasis. So do you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Yes. 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 <laughs> y'all, I'm yes. good. It was on the yes. seat. So what I want y'all to say is, I feel the power. One, two, three. I feel, I feel the power. The power. <laughs> I love you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. All right, family, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. We want to thank Shay Samuels and Dr. Terrell Jenkins of the Life Coaching School of Arkansas. Don't forget, y'all. Stick around at 11 o'clock. We got a, another podcast coming up with Dr. Duckett is here. That's right. In case you miss his 8 o'clock show, we're going to be running it back shortly at the top of the hour, 11 o'clock. You want to check out a renewed mind. That's right. We need one right now in this damn time. Everybody don't know what to think. COVID-19, protests, Gregory Lloyd, we don't know what to think. So much being thrown at us, you know. So check it out, y'all. He's going to help us out, put it all together. And don't forget tomorrow, starting at 8 o'clock, Dr. V, that's right, Transforming Lives Bible Radio Show, starting at 8 o'clock. You need some Bible study in your life. Come join us at 8 o'clock with Dr. V. And then we're going to spin around at 9 o'clock. That's right, you got Paula Breon coming out of New York City. That's right, she always brings exciting guests from the music industry Talk about their walk with God, their testimony, their music industry, and what God has blessed them with. All right? And then hit us again at 10 o'clock with Shalonda. Wow, we have inspirational treasure from 10 to 12, and she bring a host of friends and guests. That's right. So check us out, y'all, as they, uh, they talk about God and the great things he's done for our people. All right? Take it easy. Be safe out there, everybody. Don't forget to wear your mask. Carry your glove. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide on Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. That's right, Charm City, baby, right here. You are listening to Jerry Woods Live Worldwide Podcast. <laughs>